Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Today I am doing a 16 by 20 oval canvas. And what I'm going to create with that is my drizzle, my wreck, my bloom, and my spinneroo. So, I already have my base down, which is the phalo gray, and I did yellow. And that is in my ready to use color place paint, house paint from Walmart. No silicone, no glue, no water. Just my golden fluid acrylic that I added to give it a, just a little touch of color today. Hope everybody's having a good day. Thanks for joining us. We're happy to see you and I hope you're happy to see me because that's what you're going to get today. <laughs> I'm happy to see you. <laughs> you're going to just see me. That's it. No more, no less. Okay, so my drizzle colors today are Dragon fire and emerald and that is a pigment those are primary element pigments by color art abalone shell which is a pigment carmen and poppy red which is a pigment this is deep yellow and indian yellow by arteza incorporated with sunburst pigment azo orange by amsterdam and red orange by amsterdam this is Ultramarine Blue by Arteza, Black Cherry Pigment, Light Blue by Artist Loft. My bloom colors are Bronze Medallion Satin, which is a pigment by Color Art, Primary Elements. This is, tur this is actually Phalo Turquoise Blue by Amsterdam, Lemon Drop Pigment, Emerald Pigment, Jasmine Pigment, and French Lilac Pigment. And of course, you all know my cell activator is my black magic, which is flow, troll, and paint. So we're gonna get started here with our little drizzle bedrizzle. I have a whole bunch of new words today, don't I, Phil? Well, I think you're just making up a bunch of words. I am, I am. <laughs> it's fun. I'm not like the professor. I just do anything. Oh my gosh, I hope everybody's having a great day. We're having a great day so far. Can't complain because you know what? Nobody listens to me. <laughs> In this technique, uh, Kathy is drizzling around the edge. Of course, she's going to put the bloom in the middle. But by drizzling around the edge, we hope that any negative space actually will be not negative. <laughs> It'll have some coloration to it around the bloom. So. And That's the, what we're trying to accomplish. And my idea of this is I'm trying to keep um, this drizzle more on the canvas instead of going off the edges. I have to make more paint, Phil. That one's a dead. So guess what I'm doing tomorrow, Phil? What's new, right? I think you actually can go a little farther In, uh, into the center. Yeah. That's what I or was towards thinking. Towards the center, I Correct. should say. Correct. Well, I can always bring my uh, wreck in too. Mm -hmm. This is my abalone shell, which you can't really see a lot of, but it's really, really pretty. Gives a nice effect. I'm gonna just scoop the rest of this out instead of not. Can't waste it. No. You spend a lot of time making these paints and pigments. Oh so. my gosh, tell me about it. That's my day. Okay, we are on to the Carmen and the Poppy Red. All these paints and pigments that Kathy's using uh, for the drizzle, she has a special recipe, video number 244. Uh, I will have a direct link to that video so you can learn exactly how Kathy uh, makes her paints and pigments for her drizzles and her swipes and her blooms. Yeah, it's fun. I got a lot of them out there. Hey, this is the American flag. <laughs> Red, white, and blue. I didn't even oh, yeah, actually go. realize that until I just looked now. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I have the American flag here. 
Okay, now we're on to the deep yellow, the Indian yellow, and the sunburst pigment. There's gonna be quite a mishmash, Phil. Well, that's the object of it, is to get a lot of different colors all over the outer edge. And you know, just leave me a comment and if I can help you with anything, I'm here to help you. I get a lot of Kamlin, Klamans, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I try to answer every single one of them. It might take me a little bit longer, but I will get there to answer your comments. That's what I'm here for. And I hope you learn, you know, something from my videos. Well, yeah, Kathy does have over 300 videos on her channel, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Videos of all different types of pours and crazy different experiments that she's done. So uh, check those out. Uh, we had a lot of fun making them, and hopefully they'll be enjoyable for you to watch. Yeah, Phil, the one that Phil just uploaded today was my first Dutch pour of the year. And... Uh, it turned out pretty nice, actually, for not doing it for so long. <laughs> or you say today, but this video we're making right. making today won't show up for about a week. Yeah, well, you got to get on the ball, Phil. No, well, we only put one a day on, and we've got several in the can, so to speak, that are ready to go. That's a good thing. Because all of a sudden I'll say to Phil, what are you doing? Nothing. Okay, we're going to shoot a video. Okay. Well, we try to upload a video once, one per day. Some days, of course, we miss. But there are some days we actually make two or three videos because Kathy is sort of in the swing of things. So then we kind of accumulate some extra videos uh, to put on on days when things come up, we're too busy to make a video. <laughs> we're just so busy. We're so busy. <laughs> and see, I'll tell you, that's why I always wear black because that way nobody knows how many videos I make because I have the same tops on. And I do have a lot of these black tops, don't I, Phil? You do. I just ordered six more of these. Well, if you quit wrecking them. <laughs> Jeez. I know it. It's a dirty, rotten shame. Okay, the last drizzle color is coming up. Yeah, that was Black Cherry. This oh. one is Light Blue by Artist Loft. Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art Primary Elements Pigments and their other um, supplies and products, Arteza Paints and their products, and also KS Resin. And you can get some nice discounts through the links in, that we have in our description box. So take advantage of that, save some money. Okay, I gotta pop these bubbles. And then we're gonna go on to wrecking. And if you are new to our channel, my new wrecking tool for this is actually a frosting cake decorating tool. Um, I'm not, I usually always wreck with my, this, which is my uh, skewer, but I came up with this handy dandy little tool. It works pretty good. I don't make cakes, so I figured <laughs> Why not use it on something that I can use? Okay, so, now we're gonna wreck this. You ready, Phil? What if I said no? <laughs> I'd say too bad, spy guy. I'm gonna leave that. That's fine, Because yes. it's gonna be a little different. Yes, exactly. Ugh. okay. This is so fun. This is actually kind of like decorating a cake. I bet you just want to put your fingers in there. I do. <laughs> what I'd really like to do is I'd really like to put your face in there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, uh -huh. I would. Your face or your hand so you can get paint on it. Oh, it would be so fun. You know, kind of like when you got married, you fed each other the cake. Remember, Phil, feed me the cake. You got it all over my face. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I, yeah. enjoy, I enjoyed it. <laughs> yes, you <laughs> did. Oh, you were such a brat then. 
Well, you still are. Okay, where's my low stick? Gotta leave it out. I gotta get this. Oh, you got some more bubbles? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna leave that and see what happens with that. So we've got the... Uh, I don't think I should uh, do that. Do you? No. We've got the drizzle and the wreck done. Now we're gonna... Kevin's now we're gonna going to build the bloom in the yeah, middle. Yeah, we're going to do the bloom now. i got to make sure I get the middle. That looks like the middle, I think. Yes. That is my bronze medallion satin. This one is my phalo turquoise blue. This is my little lemon drop. My emerald green. Jasmine. And my French lilac. And these were all done with that same recipe as you used for the drizzle, correct? Correct. Okay, very good. That might not be in the middle, Phil. Well, it was. It was creeping. We're going to get it. It was creeping over. Well, it just better stop creeping. Or it's just going to be in trouble with the creeper here. Okay. Now, for the black magic. My cell activator. And then we're going to blow this puppy out. So I get the hair out of my mouth. Okay, so abracadabra, let's see what you're going to show me now. Okay, Kathy. <laughs> oh, it's talking back to me again. I love it when it talks back to me. Cells up in there. We got a nice bloom shaped bloom in the middle there, and get the right end in your mouth. <laughs> See how the cells come up when Kathy gently blows the cell activator. Look at that. Purdy. Very nice. Purdy, purdy. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to spin this to see what it's going to look like. But first, I'm going to do a little wrecking with my other wrecking tool. Okay. You know how that goes, Phil. Wrecking number two. You got that right. Oh, I've got to get my hair cut this week. It's starting to drive me bonkers. Uh, let me see, what should I do here? Um, okay, we're going to do this. This is so fun. <laughs> People, you have to try this if you haven't tried it because it's so fun. Well, the nice thing about the wrecking, it adds some interest to uh, the edges. It really does. Giving some nice frilly lines, flowery. Yeah, it's just, it's fun. It's relaxing, it's fun. And you just don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> And then there's sometimes when you go, God, I wish I could do that again. Impossible. Just won't do it. Oh, that's a beautiful bloom you got there. It's really pretty. And then it should be interesting to see here are the edges before Kathy does the spin. And uh, 
Yeah, it's going to be so. They actually have some interest in it already and nice coloration. Well, let's see what okay, happens. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin it a little slow at first. Well, okay, Kath. And I'm going to stop it because I'm going to go the opposite direction because mm -hmm. I don't want it yes. going off too, too right. far that way. To bring it back. It seems to be kind of going off, more off the one way. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, yeah, maybe bring it if you, well. I thought it was level, but maybe it, was. it wasn't. Wow, that's really very cool. Hopefully we can get okay, that I'm centered. I'm going to go that way. Well, so try, I would try to get it centered a little bit before you spin yeah, it again. I'm going to. But look at around the edge, what that drizzle and wrecking with that cake decorator, whatever Is that it crazy moving? thing was. Moving, you can Let's probably see. see it better yes, than it's, me. It's moving. I think you're good, actually. You're, you're good, good, good. Wow. I'm good? Yeah. Oh, I am good. Look okay, so. Oh, uh, yeah. My hands feel all, like, wet because I'm so full of paint <laughs> now. Let's see here. Oh, is this cool? It's beautiful. This is okay. so there's pretty. The, there's the center bloom. Oh I'll my god, I back. love this. And I love yeah, this. Look at all the wonderful coloration wow. around the bloom. And that was the whole purpose of that drizzling in the beginning around uh, the edge was to create a nice color palette around the central bloom to show off your bloom right and this bloom this bloom um, is cool it's very nice it's 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 hard to make larger blooms that will stay you know real nice uh composition composed, yes i'm gonna lift up the uh i'm gonna just put up the uh the shade so okay. everybody can see the colors because right. it's really really pretty These colors, I am so excited. This turned out so pretty. And I really like leaving uh, some of these. Well, yes. They're really yeah. cool. I mean, that uh, that area there, and you got some more there. Um, it just adds a little bit. And look at my dots here. It's my little hmm. paint dots. I don't quite get that. I'll be honest with you, I'm, I don't really like those dots. Well, we can get those off. But I love this. Very nice. Absolutely love this. On a 16 by 20 oval, it yeah, it's, it's made it's, a huge bloom. It's pretty hard to do it uh, on the larger canvases, but it worked out. It almost looks like there, now you're going to say, I don't see that. It almost looks like there's a bird in flight. Yeah, no, I do see that. I see you the do? Wings. Yeah, I see the tail. Oh, I'm so excited. You Where's see the, what I see. See the tail, right the there. wings, and the head. Yeah, excellent. Oh, my God. Gosh, well, I can't believe it. I know what it is. It's a hummingbird in your bloom. It is. <laughs> oh my God, it is. I love hummingbirds. Oh, I love this. Give me a thumbs up, everybody. Share this if you want. Um, please try this. It's so fun. Um, it's a little challenging at first because you have to get your swipes just how you want them. Or I mean your wrecking. And um, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we love all of you. If you haven't subscribed, we'd love for you to join our family. Um, we hope you like seeing us as much as we like seeing you. Uh, go to my Etsy shop. Phil uploaded some uh, pictures on Etsy. Uh, my paintings and creations are finally ready to show you. So my next video, I will show you my finished creations. And until the next time, stay healthy, stay well. And um, when you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell. Um, that way you will be notified whenever Phil uploads these. So until the next time, everybody, bye. There's the bird. <laughs>